Hey viewers, welcome back to Andy's Garage. Hey, uh, on the left I've got my uh, 2013 Dodge Ram. And in an earlier video, I don't remember which one it was, I talked about the uh, Power Stop Z36 towing and hauling package brake uh, setup that I bought. I think it was last spring. I think it was back, I think it was last spring. And uh, I need new brakes for it because uh, I haul a uh, 28 foot camper uh, bumper pole camper with this thing all the time because we do a lot of camping and uh, I just wanted something that was a little bit better for stopping power with that camper and I said that I was going to do a uh, review video on these uh, power stop brakes so um, that's what I'm going to do in this video hey viewers <clears throat> uh, what I did was uh, I went with the as I said earlier the Z36 uh, towing and hauling package because it comes with the drill and slotted rotors and it has a uh, synthetic carbon fiber ceramic pad is what these pads are on these uh, I've had them for a year did a lot of towing last year with them and I noticed one thing about them and because I did some research on them uh, before I uh, before I bought these, and uh, this isn't a mocking video. I actually like them; they 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 perform well. But I think a lot of people get misled on braking systems because when you look at the real science behind braking systems. It doesn't really stop you faster by any means, uh, but what it does is it dissipates the heat so much better, so you don't have that brake fade. And I think that's the one thing a lot of a lot of manufacturers need to really focus on instead of saying, you know, better braking power, which it's not necessarily false. But I think they need to focus more on saying it. Uh, it does away with a lot of that brake fade because I have noticed that. Because there's uh, with the OEM brakes that were on here, I noticed that uh, you know when I really had to get into that pedal, it was kind of a whoa. Sometimes when I had to hit it real, I had to brake really hard. And uh, just this past uh, uh, summer when I was headed out to the uh, campgrounds I uh, came across the camp post we were meeting oh. thought I heard my garage door open we were meeting each other on the road into the campgrounds there and it, it's a regular road so I was probably going 60 mile an hour and before he got to me he flagged me down as we were meeting and I had to really get into the brakes and I'll tell you what they did a really good job of stopping me they didn't lock up nothing like that uh, you know uh, nice thing is is uh, ABS didn't uh, have to kick in or nothing hit the brakes she stopped really good she's hot you can smell them when I stopped you can smell them they were hot but I think that's the thing that you know people you know get to see by they think they're gonna get these uh, performance brakes and they're gonna stop 6,000 feet you know sooner but really the biggest thing is is they they do they just dissipate the heat better and uh, so you don't have that you know brake fade but anyway uh, went ahead and I put them on the front and I went ahead and I put them on the rear and I'm gonna take the camera back here and show you the rear ones and the rear is you know basically the same setup as you know the front ones has got the drilled and slotted rotors brake pads are the same material and what is nice though when you get the kit is they do have labels on them on the front and rear set like this one here says rear passenger side so that way because these are slotted directionally so uh that way you can't get them, you know, get the rotor on the wrong side. So that's what's nice. 
and obviously they go on like any other uh, uh, brake set. So, by the way, yeah, like I said I'm I'm actually happy with them, because uh, like I said, because when I was just running just the OEM ones, I noticed that I would get brake fade if I had to stop real hard. Then the next time I went to go stop, you know, I noticed that I just didn't have just didn't have the brakes that I thought I should have. So, but these I haven't had any trouble with. Uh, they're quiet. I haven't had any problems with any squeaking. Uh, and then most importantly, uh, when I'm empty, it's not like I have, you know, too much braking power. You know, these are good when you're loaded or unloaded. But like I said, these are the PowerStop Z36 package. Uh, you can buy them either just for the front, just for the rear, or you can buy them together. Uh, I made the mistake of buying them separately. I should have just bought the kit. Because you can buy both the front and rear for about 500 bucks. If you go to Power Stops website, uh, when you type in all your vehicle information and it gives you the part number for the kit, underneath there, it's going to have a list of uh, suppliers that you can get it from. It's going to have like AutoZone, Jags, Rock Auto, Amazon. It's got a bunch of you know different uh, places you can get them from. Uh, what I did was at the time when I bought the brakes, I just clicked on each of them to see which one was the uh, least expensive. Like for the rear, I believe the rear on these rear ones, I can't remember if it was the front or the rear, but I'm almost positive it was for the rear. I got them through Jegs because Jegs was actually the cheapest for the rear. And it was like $20 cheaper. And the nice thing is, is when I order these, they came out of a warehouse out of Northern Illinois, uh, which is only a couple hundred miles from me. So I got them within just a couple of days. So it's not like I got them from somewhere else and there was a warehouse in New York or, you know, California or somewhere far away. Uh, but I don't remember where I got the front ones from, but I do remember I got the rear ones from uh, Jags. Uh, I made, like I said, I made the mistake of not buying it in the kit because they were more expensive when you bought them separately. I think it, by the time I bought both for the front and rear, I think they were probably pretty close to uh, about $575 in that range. So I could have saved a little bit of money if I would have just bought them both in a kit. Uh, but at the time, I didn't, I wasn't too worried about the rear because I wanted to replace the front because the front needed to be replaced at the time and I wasn't too worried about the rear one. So I just wanted to get the front ones done first because of the pricing of them. I just thought, well, we'll start with one and then uh, we'll uh, go from there. Are you leaving, my dear? I'm not going to touch your clean clothes in my hands. Hey, what time are you going to be home? Seven-ish, I guess. Seven. 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 All right. Have fun. Have fun playing around in the castle. What? In the, in there in the ignition. Have fun playing in the castle. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> As my wife, she's the only to a uh, uh, woman's dinner and shopping thing. It has to do with women business owners in our area. And uh, she was invited by uh, uh, a lady that we know. She has her own business, and she invited my wife to go along with some, we're eating at some fancy castle. So, And everybody that goes to this castle thing, they say this place is, like, awesome to go eat. Food's great. Just the look of the place is awesome. And they're supposed to hop on some trolley and go downtown and you know shop and all that stuff so but anyway back to the brakes here uh yeah so uh yeah like i said i'm really happy with you know how these things perform uh you know uh but i do want to kind of get that misconception out there that i mean like i said i mean you, you just lose the brake fade i mean yeah you do you know you do gain you know distance in braking but I think a lot of them can be mis can, can be deceiving when they talk about braking. It's the big thing is is you're not having to deal with all that brake fade. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, that's it for this. And actually, and I also said earlier in another video, I'm not going to include it on this one, uh, but when I took these uh, original rotors off, 
Uh, <laughs> the parking brake shoes are on the inside of the rotor here. They On these, they run on the inside of this rotor here. And they look like regular parking brake shoes you'd find on brake drums. And when I pulled this rotor off, pulled the lining right off of those parking brake shoes. Didn't have didn't have parking brake shoes on hand. So uh, luckily the old uh, napper up here, they had some uh, uh, parking brake shoes. So I had to go run up there and go pick them up. Because uh, everybody else, man, wanted a, I don't know why, but man, some of these places wanted a fortune for some of these uh, parking brake shoes. So, but uh, anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this video here. Like I said, I just wanted to do a little review on these uh, PowerStop Z36s. If you're looking for uh, pads and rotors to upgrade on your uh, truck or your SUV, I'd recommend these uh, Z36s. And for something that's drilled and slotted, you know, something fancy and then with the uh, carbon fiber ceramic pads, you know, you can't beat the price. I mean, you can't. And nowadays, every, that stuff is very, you know, inexpensive. And it's nice that it's to the point to where rotors are so inexpensive now that instead of going and taking them somewhere, whether it be AutoZone or Riley's or your local garage, to have the, your rotors turned, it's nice to be able to afford brand new rotors and just slap them on. And then you've got that, got that extra thickness on these rotors. So then uh, your rotors can get hotter, you know, for whatever reason and not have to worry about them uh, warping on you. So anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, I hope this was helpful for somebody. And if it was, like, subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.